Hello everybody, how is it going? I am Lucas and today we are going to be checking out a really cool plugin from Two Notes Engineering called Wall of Sound. Wall of Sound itself is absolutely free, but when I bought my Two Notes Captor, Captor is a little box, it lets you run your amp into your computer, I got some codes for some free cabs. So if you buy any of Two Notes products, they give you codes most of the time from my experience and you can actually get some free cabs to use with wall of sound so what the captor does is that allows you to run an amp into your computer so i have my 5150 hooked up to my captor and i'm running the rev g3 pedal in the effects loop of the amp and then i'm running that to the captor and the captor's running to my interface and then i'm running the interface into my DAW, as you can see and what wall of sound does is Everything I just described with the pedal and the power amp, that is all your preamp settings, but when you run it into your computer, you need a cab. And that's where Wall of Sound plug comes in. You have tons of cabs that you can mess with. And if, like I said, I bought my cab there. I got some free, but I, what's really cool about this, pl this plugin is you can buy individual ones, or you can buy so you can do individual, you can do packs, whatever you feel necessary. Let's kind of give you a little tour of the plugin a little bit. So when you first start up Wall of Sound, it comes in, yes, this is fine. It'll, it'll convert it. So whenever you go to arcade mode, this is what it looks like. Don't stay in this mode. Please do not stay in this mode. This I tried dialing up tones in this mode and it this mode really confused me. If you want something super basic, definitely come in this mode, but I would definitely stay in the simulation mode. This mode is a lot less confusing for me and it gives you a lot more options. Let's kind of get a little tour of the amp, up uh, of the amp, of the plugin. I'm gonna start at the very left. So the compare button, what this does is if you press and hold it, it takes a snapshot of whatever you have. So it would take a snapshot of this right here. And then, hold on, let me load that back up. Okay, there we go. It takes a snapshot of the settings you have and then it lets you switch your settings in here. So when you click it again, it'll give you your old settings that you have. So that lets you kind of compare and contrast of what you had there. As you saw what I just did here, you can actually save cabs that you come up with. This is a bunch of the presets that are in here. I just have my high gain that I saved right here. It makes things very easy. Like you saw, like when I converted it to the arcade, it kicked this off, but I got to load it back on. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Another unique thing about this IR loader, which I haven't ran across another IR loader that does this, you have a power ramp section in here and it lets you go through 606s, EL, 34s, 84s, KT88s. You have the SC, you have the PP versions right here. I actually use this on another video. I'm not gonna go too in depth in this on, on here. I'm gonna link you out to another video I did with the 6505MH. I ran the preamp out into my interface and I was able to use the power amp with that and it actually sounded really good. So I'll link that out to you if you want to check that out. You also have your in, you have your input right here, you have your output knob right there obviously. You can kind of, you know, play with those to get your, your levels right. And then right here you have the mixing part. You can, this is where you can choose your cabs, you can load in your own and see you can actually turn it on and off. The really cool thing, if you buy a two notes cab, you can move the mic around. I'm gonna show you this little trick later. So let's, um, I'm gonna play the um, track I recorded for you right here, and I'm gonna move the mic around to give you an idea of what I was talking about. And you can also change the mic. So I'm using a 57 on here. Different cabs are gonna have different mics. It just all depends on what they track it with. So uh, I'll change the mics right here so you can, um, you can actually hear different ones.
and on each cab itself you can put on the power amp you can put on you can put on the exciter the compressor you can do anything you want on each individual one and you can even have two cabs on the same side if you want so if you have you know you can do two cabs on the left you can do two cabs on the right I'll be, i'm gonna explain what i have right here i'm gonna explain that a little later once we go over some other stuff let's go over the individual cabs itself so the really nice thing about this plugin which i love so much is that first of all okay so you can have your favorites right and um it did not save my favorites for my cabs it did not if i put in wait put in my users yeah there we go all right, so you can buy cabs and none of them are behind a paywall. So you can actually look, see all of this right here? This is, you can go to the cart and you can actually, you can audition them if you want. So let me, um, it does pop, like it'll cut out whenever you're trying to, um, whenever you're trying to play it, so that way you can't record with it, but it lets you try any of it. Let's just do Cali Recto too. So it's gonna connect to the server real quick. And you see, it, it actually brought it up. Let me, um, I'm gonna turn this one off for now. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So how La Boutique blinked. La Boutique is actually, uh, I'll show you this later, it's actually a place you can go right here and it like gives you all the cabs and a list. I'd rather do it like this because I find it's a little bit easier. But like I said, it'll blink and it'll cut out, but you can try any of these amp, any of these cabs, excuse me. You can try any of them and can, you can actually buy them if you want. You can buy them right here. Like, so you click the cart right here, you can actually add it to your cart, you can remove it. And you can check out and you can buy it right within the plugin. It's so awesome. And you can just buy one at a time if you want to. And like I said before, you have the different mics that are right here. And I'm sure you saw it when I was moving it around. Each mic you can affect the, uh, you can do the distance. You can center it right here. I just kind of like doing it with my mouse. You can do the front of the cab. You can do the back. You can turn it around. The back doesn't sound that great, but... So the verify and overload knobs, this is something that's pretty, this is like exclusive just to two notes. The verify knob, that helps you fix the phase. So by default, it'll kick it on, but you can like jog it to kind of fix some of the phase of the IR that is in there to kind of get it to match right. Meaning if like you're doing it with another cab, like you have, like I can turn this one on and if the phase is still different, you can mess with it. Same thing with overload. That messes with the distortion coming out the speakers. You can mess with that too. Let me mess with those and show you what they do. Verify really doesn't do anything because we don't really have two speakers. Let me just turn this on and um, let's see if I can get it to do something. See, since we had two speakers in there, two cabs in there, when you mess with it, that helps you mess with the face if you're loading in like an outside IR, which that is actually really handy and that is really nice. I don't like to run two cabs on one side, I mainly just run like two, two of them right here. Let me load back up my um, default one I have here, and I'm gonna turn the EQ on and off. I love the EQ so much because it lets you shape it, shape it just to get it nice, nice and sounding good, even before you actually run it through your DAW. So you doing a lot of the work when I run it through your DAW. And what I mean is like before you actually, you know, slap a EQ plug in on the track and you're like mixing it down to save you some extra steps. You're doing it right here, shaping your tone even before it hits through the mix. You can use the exciter too. I typically don't use the exciter. What this does is it, it kind of like excites the transients a little bit and um, it can shape things a little bit different way. Let me let you see what it sounds like. You 
you know, that's what the exciter does. It has its uses. Uh, you can also use a compressor if you want to, too. The compressor is really good if, you know, say if you're having a bass running through here and you want to use a compressor, you can do that. Most of the time, if I'm going to compress a guitar track or anything like that, I'm going to grab one of my plugins that I have just because I know them a little better and the, the features on them are a little bit more extensive. But it's really cool that they give you a compressor in here. And you can also add you can also add reverb. Let's, uh, let's mess around with the reverb. You can stick that on. Uh, you can choose different studios. And if you choose a different studios, the picture changes. Which, uh, that's pretty neat. I love that it does that. Alright, let's, let's check it out. Reverb is very fun. You have your menu right here. Another cool thing that this plugin does, sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually load in your own impulses. So if you go to select preset directory, you go right here and see I already have mine um, set up already. Mine's already set up. So if you come and then once you set it up, if you click computer and you click user right here, it'll load it up for you and it didn't yeah it saved it cool so see these are some own hammer irs that i have the zilla cabs that i bought and i just favored a few of them also too whenever you're going through the cabs you can actually favor whichever one you want so it'll show up on your favorites so that way you don't have to dig through everything again and the really neat thing about this is it lets you cycle through them so you see that's see the ir changes as you cycle through i don't know why i put so many of them of the same one in there but you can cycle through it and it actually shows you how the wavelength changes right there which is really nice obviously you can't get the distance and stuff like that because this is a true ir that i'm messing with right here two notes has their it's an ir but it's different because you can actually move you really can't move um most move the mic is what i'm talking about so you can get a little bit different sounds within one little file like that if that makes sense most ir is just one direct picture of it for example it's one direct picture that's one picture and then this is a different picture but with two notes it lets you get multiple pictures within one file if that makes any sense i hope that I explained that correctly i hope that made sense and i was clear anyway uh i'm gonna play i'm gonna play it again and i'm gonna cycle through the irs <laughs> Alright, since I've gone and completely screwed everything up, let me load back in my plugin again. Load back in my settings. And whenever you have your own IRs loaded up, see how it has 560 available? You can load up your entire folder if you want. And what's, what I love about it is when you come to guitar and you come, or you come to user, for example, these are the individual IRs that are in the folder that I picked. So I picked a directory, right? And these are the individual folders in that directory. So you see, you can come in and you can pick all of them within that directory. That's so cool that it reads it like that and it lets you do that. A lot of the other free IR loaders that I use don't work like this and it's, it's, it's so cool. Where else have we not touched yet? We've touched this. Let me 
tell you about this. So this is a little trick that was on the Two Notes blog. I found out about it at NAMM when I was doing an interview for the Cab M. I'll put the Cab M up top too. That's sort of, it's sort of like this, except it's like a little foot unit that you can run IRs in and you can do a lot of the same stuff with it's very neat if you need it for live use. Two Notes has a, a lot of cool stuff. What this is, is it's a cool way to get a nice sound, but you see how, okay, so my top cab it's the same cab and the same mic, but what I did was you put one mic close and you get that mic sound, and then you put in another one on the same side that you, it's it's very, it's identical to it, but you pull it all the way back. So it gives you like this big full room sound. I thought this was BS when I read it. I was like, oh yeah, it, it probably won't do that much, but it makes it sound so much better. So I, you've kind of heard it a little bit because cause I was getting confused on which cab I was on. Let me turn it on and off and let you see what I'm talking about. I really like it and I balanced it out a little bit with my volume and it sounds so much better than just having one mic. I find it makes it sound really big and it sounds really fat. And you can also turn this off so turn it off obviously it's just the preamp information uh, pre-empower amp you don't have any actual cap so it sounds fizzy that's what a guitar sounds like without it. the cab so the last little section I want to talk about, I'm talking about the right side over here. As I said, this is where you come in and you select your directory and this is where you can log into your two notes account. So whenever you like download it, you make a two notes account and that's where it saves all your cabs and stuff. So if you install this on a new computer, you can log in back into your account and all the cabs you bought will be back in there. You can also change the size of it. You can go, you can go super huge, you can go super small, you can go to medium right here. And the little boutique, this is what I was talking about earlier. This lets you come in and you can add the cabs to your card and you can do full cab lists. Uh, look, they have everything in here. The Mesa World Tour cabs, these are the ones that, um, the SLE, the World Tour Edition, these are the ones that Mesa did themselves. They sound really good. If you really like Mesa cabs, those sound great. The reason, I bought the Rev cabs and the reason I did that is because they have the World not the world, I'm sorry, warehouse guitar speaker speakers in them. And I have some of those same speakers in my cab that I use. I have the Veteran 30s. It has, I think the Grev one has a Veteran 30 in the greenback warehouse guitar speakers. And I love those speakers. So that's why I bought it because it sounds a lot like the cab that I have in my room that I've been playing with for years. So that's why I got it. And the, the closed back 412 Rev sounds so good. If you want to cab to buy that you can't go wrong with check that one out that's the one that you've been hearing the entire time and you can actually buy stuff through here it's going to show up in, in euros because two notes is from france it, it's very easy to buy and they're not very expensive and yeah sometimes i'll run specials and you can buy whole cab packs if you want i bought the entire rev cab pack but if you want like when we were demoing if you want to buy just one cab boom you can buy one cab and they're really cheap some of them are like five some of them are like eight you can demo them like we did before and you can person you click exit and you can come out of here you can empty your cart you can add more if you want right here i only let you add two learn something new oh, oh whoops i lied don't listen to me you can actually yeah you can add more if you want i only like to run two and i like to run this setup a lot you can also use this for bass too i think i'm definitely gonna start using this for bass because before when i would um mix my bass i would just mainly i like to get like a di and then i like to get derived the bass sound from the DI itself and I would just throw an IR loader on there. I would use one of the older ones that I had and I would just kind of throw one IR in there. I really didn't think about it. But I'm definitely gonna start using this because it gives you so many features like we've been talking about and you can EQ and if you buy a rev cab uh rev cab if you buy a two notes cab that's shot by them you can move the mic around like we've been doing. That about wraps it up for wall of sound. This Plugin is so great. Like I love the fact that you have all these different mics and you can put them in all these different positions. You can do the front, you can do the back. It's so flexible. I mean, and it even lets you load your own IRs in too if you want, which that is super cool. Just, I love the flexibility of this plugin. It works really well if you have like a captor or um, if you have a reload. Reload allow the two notes reload box allows you to reamp too. 
So you can run your amp into your interface and then you can actually reamp with it too. So Two Notes has a bunch of different stuff to check out. If you're in any need of anything, definitely check them out because they have you covered. They have you covered in the plug-in side and they have you covered in the real world physical side. The only thing that I didn't like about the plugin that I don't like is that whenever you're installing it, it doesn't give you the option to pick where you install it. I like to put all of my stuff on a different hard drive than my OS hard drive. And of course, it just installs it right on the C drive. So two notes, if you ever watch this, please let us pick, for Windows at least, let us pick where we want to put it because it's helpful for me because I like to keep everything off of my OS drive as much as I can. That is going to wrap it up for Two Notes Wall of Sound plugin. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. You can also search for cabs right here. I never really use this, but you can. See, you have six rev cabs available. Um, loading in, remember, so if you want to load in your own, I'll go over this real quick again. You come right here and you go select preset directory, not preset directory, user impulse directory. That is to load in your own cabs. It's very easy to do. You pick it, you load it in, and just make sure right here you have user and computer selected. See, because if you take away user, that's, you know, you take away, you see. So just make sure you see, because I had issues with this when I was first messing with it. So user and computer, if you're going to load in your own IRs. Guys, that is going to wrap it up. This plugin is so fantastic, it's free. I'll put the link to Two Notes site down below if you wanna check it out. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But as for me, I'm gonna have to be out. Peace.